Yo, welcome back to You Can't Sit With Us Radio. We got A Rose on the show. We done with Corona Talk, man. We all in it together, though. Yes. But we all in it together. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. A Rose, um, yes. tell us about yourself. I know it's been it's been two and a half years since you've been on the show. Yeah. It's so, been yeah, tell us who you are. Who I am? Again. I, uh, I'm an R&B artist here in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um, I sing, record, write, perform, um, and haven't always had the that name, A-Rose. Um, that kind of came about um, later on in, in Nashville, but when I moved here, my artist name just was my name, Mandy Kopp, and, mm-hmm. um, you know, I didn't know one person in the industry when I moved here almost seven years ago, so I kind of had to... Um, Re- yeah, I define myself, <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> as a musician, as an artist. And I noticed R&B was not, it, it was a minority here. Um, I don't know if I, I can say that now, but when I first moved here, it was. Um, but the community, the R&B community, especially for women, has, like, grown immensely, and it's it's been incredible. But, um, but yeah, the, the name A-Rose comes from my the name that my mom and dad gave me, um, Amanda Rose, is a, the name that I will always have. Mm-hmm. And um, so A Rose made sense to me. It, it was kind of a, a longevity thing, and that's what I kind of hope my music to be as well. Mm-hmm. Um, the goal is to write timeless songs that anybody could relate to yeah. at this point. Um, but, yeah, it's been a journey. <laughs> it's been a, been a long journey. I know... Uh, Threshold Brace here was a part of that, uh, the start of things. Um, one of my first EPs, it's called Mirage. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, it was under Mandy Cop, but um, we... Uh, those, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that answers a lot. <laughs> that answers a lot. Yeah. Name change. Name That's why. Change. Ha. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Perfect. <laughs> I'm in line now, buddy. I knew how all this happened. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Keep going. We, I'm sorry. We, uh, yeah, John, well, all three of us discovered that John had reached out to me, I guess, about a, I don't know. I want to say it was from, uh, like, a podcast group, maybe. Yeah, I guess that was it. Because I, yeah. I think it was, it was that. You... You posting on the what's the what's the group community in Nashville they got on Facebook? Nashville podcasters? No, it's, no or it's, the Yep, yep. community. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You posted yes. on there. She saw it and she told Tried my uh, about you can't sit with us. Yeah. And that's how that happened. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I remember that because yeah. I just had my photo shoot around then, I believe. And that was when when I first, when I got here at that time, yeah. uh, I wanted to do music at yes. that time. Okay. And so okay. I was trying to find podcasts that would, you know, come and let me just come on yeah, for exposure. Right. Yeah. So that's why I asked. And now I remember that. I yeah. Like and it. you told me about this pod. Yes. Yeah. OK. See, I, and this is one of the things I love about Nashville because of that. I yeah. Call it the Nashville Web. You kind of connect like. Troy yes. and I connected on, I think he found me on Twitter, yep. and I, I think it was totally random. It was. <laughs> and we connected, and through that, I met so many other people through you and vice versa. Mm-hmm. And then now, yeah. you know, it's just, it, it's it's that connecting. <laughs> yeah, I can't sit with her. <laughs> like, right? She made this. She created this. <laughs> Look at this. We're in the, tri- we in the triangle right now. Yes, oh, we're we in the triangle. I, I feel the energy <laughs> here. This is happening, energy. y'all. This is it. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, but now I'm I'm honored to be sitting in the seat with you guys. I mean, it's it's been a cool thing to see it grow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, happy to happy to be a part for sure. Um. So I'm gonna start with just for the day ones, the people that uh, remember you for the first time you were here. So, yeah. how has your music and life changed since then? Oh man. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, I mean, as anyone naturally progresses in their career, they become more confident in their skill. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, performance was always kind of at a certain a comfort level for me. Yeah. I wouldn't say full confidence, but definitely comfort. Mm-hmm. It was the studio, the recording, that I was not mm-hmm. comfortable in at all. Wow. So that was a challenge for me that I wanted to.